Shane Gillis, a, a comedian who uh, is very successful, stand-up comedian, very successful uh, with his specials that he's had uh, on YouTube. Um, and I think he has an, he does have a Netflix special as well. Uh, but he returned to SNL. And I say returned, which might sound weird because you go, I've never seen that guy in SNL. Well, you didn't because yeah. he got fired before he started. <laughs> right. Uh, because when they hired him, they then found out about some comments that he had made on a podcast where he made some, used some ethnic slurs, used, uh, talked about Asian people using an accent that he probably shouldn't. <laughs> um, and once they found out about all that, they fired him. Um, he came on at the same time Bowen Yang did, interestingly. And Bowen Yang, he was course, upset. Was upset and is still on the show. So, how did this play out with him hosting SNL? Well, he did Which is make- so interesting, by the way, That they right? brought him back. That they brought him back to host. Right, so he did make a reference to the firing, but if anybody was expecting an apology or for him to back off his brand of humor at all, that did not happen. Check out just a little bit of the monologue. But most of you probably have no idea who I am. Uh, I was actually, I was fired from this show uh, a while ago, but if, you know, don't look that up. Please, if you don't know who I am, please don't Google that. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> I'll tell you this. I don't know if you guys, uh, if you can tell by looking at me, but I do have family members with Down syndrome. <laughs> Look, I don't have any material that can be on TV, all right? <laughs> I'm trying my best. Also, this place is extremely well lit. I can see everyone not enjoying it. <laughs> I'd say my niece is probably in like fifth, sixth grade, out at recess. And some white kids out there like, hey, you're not allowed to play with us. You're And then uh, three black kids come flying out of nowhere. <laughs> just start wailing on that cracker. Everyone's going to be like, oh! It's like, it's like a nice moment. <laughs> yeah, you guys wow. Uh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Well, listen, I think some people like this because he's a lot more edgy than the comedians that you see on Saturday Night Live. But people also definitely didn't like this because he's going after Down syndrome people. I get he's referencing his family and some of this, but hurling the R word. And I mean, look at the guitarist who's right behind him during all of this. She is just deadpan. And I think a lot of people felt that way.